Stellar and an acoustic version. Or that was Incubus. Was it Incubus or Stellar? Incubus with it was, Stellar. Yeah, it was an acoustic, an acoustic version. acoustic version of Stellar. There we go. Man. And, uh, all right, Dave, you want to lie down? No, I'm okay. And right. we, uh, we also heard Rubber as well. It is 322, <laughs> David C. Boussier III. And we have uh, what I was promising you guys earlier. Um, dear Leah. Hi there. Now, Leah, what, what uh, kind of a background do you have to be able to answer all these questions on romance and love and all that good stuff? Actually, very little. Okay, um, so let's get going then. Dear Leah, this is written in to us from um, Elsie in Stockdale. Great. Okay. Hi, Elsie. How are you? Yeah, okay, good. Oh, really? Uh, right. Yeah, that's right. I am a handsome, debonair, intelligent, eligible woman in my 70s. Is it appropriate for me to cook soup for my neighbor and put poison in it? No, of course not. It's never appropriate to poison anyone that you want to date. Good advice. Good sound mm. advice. Uh, 966 CJLX, I think we have a caller. Do we have somebody there? Go ahead, please. Hello. Hi, Hello. how are you today? I'm well. How are you? I'm fabulous. Good. What's your question? Well, I'm, you know, I'm a local high school kid. Right. I'm about 16, and I, I've been looking for like someone for a long-term relationship, something that can be uh, you know, possibly... <laughs> Go on to something more. I mean, what should I be looking for? When you say long term, uh, you're thinking marriage or what? You're only 16, aren't you? Yeah, but I mean... Long term, like three months? No, no. Long term, like something that could lead into marriage. I mean... Wow. At 16. That's quite the commitment issue you've got at 16. Well, I mean, my parents raised me well, and they said, don't go with those bad girls. And, right. And, you know, Belleville is mm. a friendly city, and mm -hmm. don't want any of those bad That's people. true. Right. Well, maybe okay, you should consider you. dating a little bit. Well, how much is, like... Like two or three girls a week, or sure, you know whatever you can get. I mean, guys don't usually get that much luck. Thanks for your call, Tim. Okay. Okay, I have another one here for you. This one also written in, uh, dear Leah. I really like you, but I'm 12 years older than you. What should I do? So uh, signed Lou in Kingston. <laughs> Any advice on that one? Okay, and okay. Apparently, there's no advice for. Uh, yeah. Um, he likes you, but he's 12 years older than you. Right. Yeah. Friendship is a good <clears throat> thing in that case. Yeah. Right. 12 years is quite the age difference. Okay. And uh, Ryan, do you have one for us? Uh, yeah. Um, this is sent in by someone named Brian Dawson. Um, it says, Leah, I think you're Brian right. Brian Dawson. No, Brian Dawson. Okay, not Ryan Lawson. No, no. no of course, Brian sorry. Go Dawson? ahead. It says, Leah, I think you're very pretty. Would you go out with me? Brian Dawson. Um, well, you know, first things first, I, I usually like to meet people prior to dating them. And, uh, yeah, writing something in is probably not a good way to meet a girl. Um, usually you should meet her first and then ask her maybe in person. 230 Front Street with lots.